Today we have an easy guide on how to boost your FPS in Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter didn't have the perfect release, but we do have a few different fixes that should get you sorted. So let's get started. We'll first be downloading a mod called RE Framework, and this is actually going to be doing a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to getting your frames back. This also allows you the ability to use mods, install reshades so you can get a color correction, and you're even able to adjust the FOV as well as fix ultra wide mode. But in order to download this, you need to make sure you create a free account on this website. And then once that's situated, we're going to go ahead and go into this files tab and then hit that manual download button. Your download should pop up. And then if you navigate to your downloads folder, you should see that your mod has been downloaded. In order to install this though, we're going to need to find the game directory for Monster Hunter Wilds. So in Steam, if you right click on Monster Hunter Wilds, go down to manage and then select browse local files, you should have a new window that pops up. Inside here, you should see your monsterhunters.exe. So that's how you know you're in the correct place. Now all you need to do is open up that zip file and that then put 8.dll file you see, you're simply gonna drag this file inside of your game directory. And once you've done that, you now have RE Framework successfully installed. When you load up Monster Hunter Wilds now, you'll see a new menu that pops up. And with this mod installed, you should already see a boost in your frames. But there's also some options you can tweak as well. So if we go into the camera settings, you're able to disable the vignette as well as control your FOV in game. If you go ahead and go into the graphics tab, you can enable ultra wide mode. So if you have a ultra wide monitor and you don't want to see those gray bars at the bottom and top of your screen, you can always enable these settings. And then you have additional graphics options as well, as well as a free camera mode. This menu will automatically pop up every time you boot up the game. So if you want to get rid of it, you can press the X on the actual menu or you can press the insert key as well. And if you ever want to bring up the menu again to customize it, you just need to press the insert key once again. Now we'll actually go into our system settings. And from here, you need to go into system. You're going to hit display and then you're going to scroll down to the graphics option. From here, you're going to change the default graphics settings. And then you want to make sure your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. This will help to improve in-game performance as well as reduce any latency. Next, we'll be downloading two different softwares so we can swap the old version of DLSS Monster Hunter Wilds shipped with with a more up-to-date version. So we'll be downloading something called DLSS Swapper. You'll simply need to go to the latest release and then click on the link. And then from here, we're going to choose the DLSS Swapper installer.exe. Once you click on the link, you'll be prompted to save your download. And then for our next download, we'll be installing the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This will allow us to manually swap DLSS for our game. So we'll go ahead and click on the NVPI revamp.zip. This again should prompt the download. Now we'll first start off with the DLSS Swapper. So make sure you run the executable to install the program. And when you have it up and running, it should look something like this. From here, we're looking to make sure that we have Monster Hunter Wilds shown just like this. If you don't see the game under that Steam category, it's a pretty simple fix. You just need to go up to this add game icon. And once you press it, you're going to need to manually find that Monster Hunter Wilds.exe. So we'll go ahead and click on add game. And again, if you want to easily find that address, we'll use the same path that we used for Steam. So you're basically going to copy this address at the top of the search bar where you find your exe file. And then you're going to paste it in here and press enter. After that, you just hit that select game folder. Make sure to hit the refresh button and then you should see your Monster Hunter Wilds pop up. Now from here, we're going to go over to the library tab. And in the library, we're going to be downloading four different file types. So in this first tab, DLSS, we're going to download this latest version. So you hit this little download icon next to the latest version. And then in the frame generation tab, we'll download this latest version. Moving on to FSR, we'll again download the latest version. And then finally on FSR Vulkan, we'll be downloading this latest version. Once you've done this, you're going to hit this refresh button over here, and then you're going to select export all. You'll save it to a location of your choice, and then we can just close out of the program. Now with your wilds game directory over here, we're going to go ahead and open up this file we just exported. As you can see in here, we have the names of all four files we downloaded. And inside of each of these folders, you're going to click inside until you get to the final page. And you're simply going to drag all of these files inside of your game directory. Now, if it prompts you to replace the file in the destination, you simply are just going to press yes. So we'll do the same for DLSS frame generation, dragging this file inside of the game directory, FSR direct X12, dragging this into the game directory, and then finally FSR Vulkan, dragging this file inside of the game directory. So now that we've updated our files, we're now going to be utilizing our NVIDIA profile inspector. So we're going to need to extract these files since it comes zipped. And inside of the new folder that's generated, we're going to go inside of the regular revamped version. And inside here, 
we're going to run the executable NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe. Now, if it's your first time running this program, you may be prompted to download another program, and all it is is a desktop runtime update. So once prompted, just make sure you install this program and you'll be good to go. With the program now up and running, we now need to go and change our profile. So in this drop down menu, you're going to need to scroll until you find Monster Hunter Wilds. Everything is in alphabetical order, so once you find it, just make sure you click on it. Once you do, you should see the Monster Hunter Wilds beta.exe as well as the Monster Hunter Wilds.exe. If for some reason you don't see that Wilds.exe, you're going to need to add it yourself. So if you click on this icon, again, this is going to be the same process we used for NVIDIA DLSS Swapper, where you're copy and pasting your Steam address and selecting that .exe file. So once you do see this, we'll now scroll down to FG Latest DLL, and in this first option, you want to make sure you hit the drop down menu and then make sure this is turned on. Under the SR preset, you want to make sure this is set on preset K. And once you've made these two changes, make sure you hit that apply changes button so that everything saves. You're free to close up the program and boot up your game now, and you should see a substantial increase in your frames. But if you're still struggling even after all of that, come on dog, we still ain't done. If you press Ctrl Alt Delete, you're able to open up your task manager. In the task manager window, if you go over to the side under details, you can search for Monster Hunter, and then if you right click on it, you can set the priority mode. You want to set this to high. Doing this will allow your PC to allocate more resources to the game. Also on the Monster Hunter Wilds page, you can go into manage my DLC, and then from here you can disable that high resolution texture pack, which is also taking up 70 gigabytes on your PC. So this will give you a bunch of frames back. We can also take a look at some of our in-game settings. So if we go into our graphics tab, we can adjust our ray tracing to the lowest setting or even off. Turning off ray tracing alone will definitely give you a boost in frames. Again, you can turn that high res texture pack off as well as bump down your texture filtering quality. You can turn fur quality low if you don't mind the slight difference, the mesh quality to high or medium, and then turning motion blur and vignette effect will just make the game look better and run smoother, in my opinion, of course. And then as a last resort, you can try messing with the variable rate shading, although I would just opt to decrease some of these other effects before going to this. Now, if we are still struggling to get some frames, this is the last option I got. And this is honestly my preferred method. There's a paid app on Steam called Lossless Scaling, and it's like three or five bucks. This is a program that adds in frame generation for your games so that you can get the smoothest gameplay possible. They've made significant upgrades to the program as well, so the latency when using this program has significantly been reduced. So this is great for games such as Monster Hunter Wilds, or even something like Cyberpunk. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave my full guide down below so you can see how to set it up. Hopefully this easy guide sorted out your frame issues. So if you want to see more guides like this, or even some of our mod showcases, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see ya.